Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Crazy Alice back in our video. Crazy Alice, aka known as Big D Dallas here, back with another YouTube video. Today we finally have the first wave of 2024. Well, the first wave for this year leaked for NASCAR Authentics. Today we're taking a look at NASCAR Authentics 2023 Wave 9. And let me tell you guys, this is one of the most coolest waves I have seen in a while. EO Mold, thank God. I cannot wait to tell you guys how excited I am. This wave is one of my favorite waves this year. This is an awesome wave. I can't wait for Walmart, Meyer, Target to get these. Can't wait to find them. NASCAR Authentics Wave 9 finally leaked after like three months. Let's take a look at it. So this is actually very, very interesting. This is a really, really awesome wave. But there's a lot of, and I mean, a lot of interesting... Hmm, how do I want to put it? A lot of really interesting differences with NASCAR Authentics. As you can see here, they changed. They changed. And I'm not going to lie to y'all. I think this is really cool packaging. This is definitely better than... Where is it? There it is. Kind of like the little lightning thing. I think this is better in my opinion, but they easily, I think they could have moved, I think they, I'd rather have them move the numbers on that top corner where the 75th anniversary is, but this is an awesome wave, let me tell you guys, holy crap, what a wave, man, so many exclusives, well, Eh, I wouldn't say exclusives. There's not a lot of exclusives in this wave, but there's a lot of paint schemes in this wave that I do not have. There is at least one exclusive that I know of, and I think we all know what it is. Not only that, but holy cow, dude. We got a freaking truck and Xfinity car. I mean, holy cow. Now, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm a little bit, I'm just a little bit disappointed that there's no Darlington throwbacks in this wave. But my assuming, my butt thinks that wave 10 is going to have the Darlington throwbacks. And, you know, that that's not, that's a joke, you guys, okay? Don't take that offensively or anything. That's just supposed to be funny talk, okay? But, you know... Myself, not my butt, myself, well, you guys get it though. Myself thinks that wave 10 will be the dawn to throwback waves since this wave isn't. Now, it sounds like wave 10 is going to be leaked in the next couple weeks. I'm guessing in winter circle wave 6 is going to be probably leaked really soon or something like that. I am so freaking excited for this wave. Man, oh man, you guys. Uh, where do I even start, man? Look at all these beautiful paint schemes. This video is definitely going to be a little bit longer than I expected. By the way, you guys, I, I have some very unfortunate news to you guys. So about whenever... I forgot, but like almost like a month ago, I want to say, I made a video of me leaking Wave 5 for Winter Circle cars, for the Winter Circles. And unfortunately... My phone was running out of storage, and I had to make, like, the football videos that I had to do now. So, unfortunately, that video got canceled. I know I never updated you guys about that or anything. But here's way five you guys haven't seen it yet. Christian Eckes, Joy Logano, Zane Smith, Chandler Smith, Kyle Larson, Christopher Bell, Joy Logano, another Joy Logano, another Kyle Larson. Now, the reason why I'm not so excited about this Winter Circle, I'm excited for this Winter Circle wave, but... You know, I'm focused on this, you know? I cannot tell you guys how freaking exciting I am. The packaging is very interesting, if I do have to say. And since, you know... Honestly, you guys... Honestly. I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually a pretty big fan of this packaging. I, I'm actually a really, really big fan. This kind of reminds me back from 2018, 2019's packaging. Let me show you guys that. 20, here we go. 2018, 2019 packaging. For example, this Aircon World Car. 
with like the screws and like that kind of stuff. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. This is the coolest packaging I have seen since 2019. 2020, 2021, um, um, packaging was pretty good too, but not as good. I wasn't a big fan of it, but it was still good. 2022, 2023's was even worse in my honest opinion. My honest opinion. But, you know, Wave Night's here, you guys. I mean, heck, I kind of was hoping that, you know, I think Lionel Racing should have done stickers. Even though I'm not a big fan of stickers, I'm actually not a big um not a big fan of stickers. They're okay. They're cool, but like I'm I'm not mad that they're gone, honestly. We all knew it was gonna happen sometime, but Honestly, y'all, I think they should have started this packaging for 2024 Wave 1. I think it would have made sense, but I really hope that they start 2024 Wave 1 with this packaging as well. This is so cool packaging. Let's go ahead and get started with the video. So our first and I believe only exclusive here is Zane Smith's 2023 and better. I don't know when he ran this car, but this is... One of the exclusives, and this might be the only exclusive actually. I think there might be two or three in this wave, but I cannot tell you guys how freaking happy I am that we got an exclusive. This is a really cool car. I know there's gonna be a lot of scalpers trying to get this car and crap, but keep in mind, you guys, this is the third. This is the third, okay? The third number 38 die cast car we have gotten this year. 2023 Wave 1, Todd Gilland, A&W. 2023 Wave 5, Todd Gilland, Generators. 2023 Wave 9 now, we have Zane Smith's number 38. Now, huh. I don't know where to put this, you guys, honestly. This is the coolest car I've seen in a while, though. Honestly, even though, obviously, pink is more of a girl color... The pink and white paint scheme here, this is an awesome car. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I am definitely going to get, if I find any of these Zane Smiths, I'm grabbing them. I don't care what y'all say. I'm not a scalper, okay? As most of my YouTubers, most of my friends know I'm not a scalper. But if I see one, two, four, five of these cars, I'm getting them. I'm sorry to all the people but this is a really cool car. And I know it's going to be a rare one. I know it's going to be popular just like the Todd Gilland. Just like the Todd Gilland's cars. Even though, you know, this might not be that popular. But I'm sure it will be popular. Anyways, really cool car. Next car we have Corey LaJoy's Team Negu. So, unfortunately, I already have this car in the Gold Series. I got this car at the Lionel Racing Store back in What's in Stores 100. If you guys haven't seen that video, please go check it out. The Lionel Racing Store, an amazing video. I got so much freaking crap there. It's wor It was worth going for the trip. From Dubuque, Iowa to freaking Charlotte, North Carolina. Well, Chicago, Illinois, I guess, because we drove to Chicago, but, you know. But, anyways, as I was saying, this is a nice car. I just, I really freaking, I freaking love this packaging so much. This is so cool. Not only that, you guys, I want to show you guys this. They brought back, see how it says 160 for you guys? Right there. They brought back the same exact 164 like logo thing as 2018, 2019 as well. I just realized that. Let's go back to, that's 2020, 2019. So you can see here it says, look at that, 164 right there. And I'm sure you guys are like, okay, we get Crazy House. But those who don't, I got to show you guys. 164. one sixty four. That is just so... Uh, I mean, I guess you can call this a throwback wave kind of. Because it's, you know, we're, we're, we're going back. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going back to 2018-2019 packaging with next-gen cars. You will love to see it. But no, but no, for real, guys, this is awesome. 
this was way better packaging than I expected it to be. Because I heard that they were going to change the packaging or change, like, kind of, like, the detail and stuff on the package. And I was not excited for it. But me seeing this, this just made my day, dude. I would... Honestly, today's Friday, okay? And I really thought it would have gotten leaked yesterday. But once I saw that Wave 9 didn't get leaked yesterday, when I realized that it didn't get leaked, I was like, dude, we got to wait another week. Finally, the time has come. Unfortunately, now that the time has come, I got to wait another couple weeks for the Wave 10 to get leaked, like another month or something like that. Which, that's going to suck for waiting, but... And in the meantime, I can try and fun hunt Wave 9. So who knows? Either way, this is a beautiful car. The only thing I can complain about is, like, where it says Coil of Joy, for example. I, I don't know, man. I feel like the 7, the number 7, should be moved up to the right corner. Then the Coil of Joy with the blue can move be moved up where that 7 is. And then that 7... Or excuse me, then the 75th anniversary logo can move down there as well as that packaging that's on the very top. I feel like that could have been maybe a little bit better, but who knows? Who knows? Either way, really nice car. Next up, we got our one and only truck. We have Haley Deegan's 2023 Woman in NASCAR truck. When was the last time we had a Haley Deegan diecast? Was it 2019 Wave 7? 2019 Wave 5 or something like that. It was with her Toyota ARCA win. Number 19. Oh, no, no, no. We had the 2020 Taylor Deegan's uh, Toter, um, Toter car for the ARCA Menard Series for 2020 Wave 6. Never mind. That was, I believe, the last car we have for Haley Deegan. Now we got a truck. And honestly, you guys, this is actually, surprisingly, okay, Surprisingly, this is not an exclusive. Surprisingly, this got made. Because usually we don't get a lot of Haley Deegan on die casts. But I really hope that Lionel Racy makes at least one or two of Haley Deegan's Xfinity, um, you know, Ford Mustangs for Xfinity next year for 2024 ways. Because, you know, we haven't gotten a lot of them, so... Who knows on that, but hopefully that's what I'm hoping for. So who knows about that? Either way, you know, very excited for this car. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm just speechless, man. What a nice car. Next up, we have my boy Chase Elliott coming back, starting hot for 2024 at Daytona. Let's hope so, anyways. Chase Elliott's 2023 Lumar. Oh boy, this is a nice car as well. I already have this car in the Gold Series. Same thing as Coil of Joy. I got this one at the Lino store. This is a beautiful die cast as well. Or no, excuse me. I actually got this car. I believe I got this car at the Hendrick Motorsports Shop, which is in Charlotte, North Carolina as well. So basically same thing though. So I'm not going to go through this car a lot because I, you guys already seen these most likely. I already have in the Gold Series, but this is a nice car. I do like this Lumar paint scheme, surprisingly. Um, the, for 20, 2024's Lumar paint scheme is cool, too. But I feel like, I don't know, the fact that there's more red on it just doesn't make it any better. Makes it worse, in my opinion. Too much red. Right now, though, this is, this is the item that I we all want. But this is also an item that we all want because this is Kimi Raikkonen's 2023 Onx Homes. I already have the hauler. Go check out Watson Stores 137. I forgot which one. Check around like around there for that video. I was hunting for Wave 7 for 2023. The 75th wave. I believe it's Wilkins Stores 137. Um, I found this, the Kimi Raikkonen's hauler, Ang's Homes hauler. So I'm, and I actually, I wanted to get this car, the Gold Series. And I was about to get the car, this car last night or two nights ago because I had money and I wanted to get it. But I'm so grateful I didn't. I'm going to wait and I'm going to get this car. 
when it comes out. I'm going to get two for sure. This car is definitely going to be a hard one to find. Man, this is an awesome car, man. Kimi Raikkonen back with the 91. What a great, what a great die cast. Next up, hopefully, is Shane Van Gisbergen. It's definitely possible, very, very possible to get that car, especially for winter circles. Next up, we got Brad Kozlowski's Castrol Edge. I'm actually really excited to see this one, too. I already have in the Gold Series. I got this car off eBay back in, like, September, October-ish. Um, I have it in the Gold Series, but I'm a little bit disappointed that we didn't get the Chris Buescher, um, you know, Castrol Edge. I feel like we haven't been getting enough Chris Buescher die casts. Even though we've gotten quite a few this year, I feel like just not enough Chris Buescher ones, so... Who knows, maybe we'll get the Chris Busher Castro Edge or something. Or maybe we'll get Chris Busher's, maybe exclusive Chris Busher Fast No White. That would be really cool. Since they cancel it, unfortunately. Either way, I'm not going to go th through this car very long at all either. Because it's already in the Gold Series. But I already have it, but man. Man, oh man, you guys. This wave is one heck of a wave. This is going to be a really awesome wave to have in your collection. Brand new packaging, brand new cars. Can't get any better than this. I, I absolutely adore this packaging. Next up, we got Martin Tricks Jr.'s 2023 Bass Pro Shops Club slash Tracker. You guys get it. I'm not going to go through this car too long either. We we already have... This was already in Winter Circle Way 4. I already have this car in the Gold Series. Honestly, you guys... I like this car a lot, but for some odd reason, I feel like the like the bright orange is too bright. I feel like, I don't know, who knows. Either way, I'm so grateful that this is on the EL mold. Maybe, guys, honestly, you guys, honestly, on God, maybe we'll get lucky and have Lionel Racing do all EL mold cars from now on, but without the cutting prices. You know, without, because I don't even care about the stickers. As long as Lionel keeps the EL mold back, gets the EL mold back in all waves, or maybe just have like one or two PTC molds per year, I'm okay with that. With no stickers, I would take that deal, definitely. I don't care. I don't care if they're exclusives or not for PTC mold. I don't care. Because, honestly, the PTC mold has been getting really, really good the last couple years, I want to say. It's been actually pretty decent. It's not, it hasn't been terrible, so. Yeah, who knows. Next car, we have another car that I did not get that's in the Gold Series. Eric Jones is Air, U.S. Air Force. He ran this at Talladega, I believe, fall. Or, or something like that. Or no, during the summer, my bad. During the summer. Man, oh man. Another car that is really cool. Honestly, this wave doesn't have any complaints. Even with all the changes and stuff. Well, obviously, like, like I said though, you could change a couple things, switch it. But that's not a complaint. That's my opinion. So far, I have heard lots of really good reviews right now. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, let's take a look at the last couple cars. So last car of the way, besides liquid color, it is the car everybody has been looking forward to. And honestly, you guys, I knew this car was going to get in, you know, I knew, you know, I knew that this car was going to get in because for some odd reason, in 2023 Wave 5, Lionel screwed up Wave 5's back, like the cars, like the collect them all picture. He had a picture of this car right here, Justin Allgaier's Brandt 75th, 70th, 70th anniversary. And, you know, I always love when we get Justin Allgaier, Allgaier cars. Because he's, honestly, surprisingly, Justin Allgaier is not a very popular guy. Which is very, very weird. Because Justin Allgaier, I don't know. He's a really great driver, but just kind of surprised that he hasn't won a championship yet. Kind of makes me 
a little bit disappointed too, because you know Junior Morrisports is my favorite. Um, I honestly, guys, I really hope that Lionel makes more Brandon Jones diecasts, because he's my favorite Xfinity driver, Brandon Jones. So, but who knows? And the liquid color for this wave is Eric Jones's U.S. Air Force. I can already tell that the red and like the gold forty three. And, like, the Air Force logo is liquid. But I don't know about the white. The white doesn't seem liquid, does it? Hold on. Let me look. The white on the liquid color is a little bit, like, more of a like an ice cream color. Like a vanilla ice cream color. Like a cream color. But it's not, not much of a difference. Even though this is a liquid color for an EL mold, which are always usually good, this is not a very good liquid color. I mean, obviously, I'll still get it. If it's li Even if it's the worst liquid color chase piece ever and they have it, I'm still getting it because it's a chase piece, you know? I'll still get it. But, you know, um, honestly, I have been... How long have I been recording? For 20 minutes now? Looks like it. Okay. Yeah, I think that's going to be it for the video, though. Honestly, my favorite car of the wave is definitely the Zane Smith. And my least favorite car is not to be a hater, okay? It is the Martin Truex Jr. car, but only because it's a paint scheme that has been in the Gold Series, that has been in the Winter Circle, okay? Um, I'm not saying the Truex car is bad. I'm just saying we've gotten it so many times. But that's okay. That's all right. I Look, before you guys start complaining and talking crap about me, I, I love the Martin Truex Jr. car, too. I'm sure everybody does. It's Martin Truex Jr. Who doesn't like Truex, you know? I, I like Truex a lot. He's a really nice person. Um, but, like, we've had the car a lot of times. It just kind of sucks, though, because, you know, the 2024 Martin Truex Jr. car, in my opinion, is worse than this car. So, at least we got that car in NASCAR. Thanks. There is no really, there is no bad cars in this wave, which... It's kind of rare for NASCAR the next now these days, but it wasn't rare back then in 2020 and 2021. So that's it, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will upload this as soon as possible. Hopefully it will get le leaked before Super Bowl weekend. It's Friday, baby. I just got home from school back from 220. Um, by the way, guys, I really hope you guys are enjoying my football videos. There should be more coming up this weekend on Super Bowl weekend. I know a lot of you guys are going to be busy with the Super Bowl and stuff, most likely. So I will try and make those videos on Saturday. If this video doesn't get leaked until Saturday, or excuse me, if this video doesn't get uploaded until tomorrow, then I'm going to have to wait. Well, either I'm going to have, either I'm going to have to wait for uploading my video until Monday, or I'm just going to have to say screw it and upload it on Sunday if you guys are not a big fan of the Super Bowl coming up. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Wave 9's been leaked, and a lot of changes have appeared, but they're all good changes, so, in my opinion. So have a good day, folks. I'll talk to you guys next time in the next video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Click on notifications and like this video and turn on notifications for, you know, so you can watch all of my videos that are brand new. If you turn on that bell button right next to my like and subscribe button, you'll be able to watch all my new videos on your notifications. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Always make sure to drop a like and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye, folks.